Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Stay, and this is Coloring Bliss's YouTube channel and welcome to our weekly live event here on YouTube. This is actually part two of our weekly live event. The first part was on my Facebook page where we started coloring with, with gel pens and talking all about how coloring can be such an amazing way to relax and cope with difficult life events and difficult just stressful days, things that happen that are out of our control and how art and coloring is so awesome for that. So we're going to continue that conversation here on YouTube with all of you and we're going to do more coloring with gel pens. The last request we got over on Facebook was for me to use glycerin and two green gel pens and show how I use glycerin to blend and pull the color of the gel pens out across a large area. So we're going to do that. I also have here with me my husband, Steve. Let's switch camera views and say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this is Steve. And this is his second time on our YouTube channel. You're a two-time YouTuber. Yes. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll be here to answer all your questions as you type them in and help me run the chat. You can put links on the chat to help us and just be our awesome helper. Right. Hi, helper. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we also have a special guest coloring with us today, and she's actually making progress on her coloring page. I'm not making much progress on my coloring page. <laughs> We've got Ashley here with us. Hello. She's our part-time employee and awesome, super-duper friend of the family. Yep. Well, no, she's the <laughs> she's our oldest son's girlfriend, so she's more than a friend of the family, but she's awesome. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> she's here coloring with us today. If you've seen my YouTube um, studio tour, you know that I have a second art station just right there, and that's where she is coloring right now. And she's working on the latest free coloring page that we have offered for you guys for a limited time. So there is a link in the description of this video where you can click that link and go download this coloring page. Don't do it right now unless you can do it without going away from this video because we've got a lot going on and we're going to have a lot of fun here talking and coloring. So let me change views here and show you the coloring page that I picked for all of us because it just feels like everyone is kind of having a rough time lately. I don't know about you guys but even with when we were talking over on Facebook, it seems like a lot of difficult things are going on in everyone's lives. I know in our lives there are hardships going on right now. Ashley's family's having hardships right now. It just seems like um, a lot of people in our coloring community is having some difficulties in their families and in their lives. And so we thought maybe a coloring page to sort of lift everybody's spirits and help each other feel a little more... Um, Happiness might be a good thing right now. So this is the coloring page that Ashley and I picked for all of us to enjoy. It says on it, some days you have to create your own sunshine. And like I said over on Facebook, I totally think that this community together, we do this um, as a group. Alone, we can color and find a lot of relief in our art. And then as we come together and share our art with each other and share our stories with each other, it really also creates a lot of joy and upliftment and sunshine together. So as we're chatting today together here in this live event, I'd love to hear from you. What kinds of ways do you use your art and your coloring to help lift and inspire you and get through the hard days and the hard times. So comment and share, we'd love to hear it. There are things you might share that might help someone else in this community, so. Also, if you do download this page and color, I would love to see your finished result. Go over into our Facebook group and post a picture of it because that's a great way to share it. I don't care if you're a beginner and you just use crayons and you're coloring outside of the lines and it looks terrible, or if you are a master colorist and it's the best masterpiece that anyone has ever seen, or somewhere in between, I would love to see how you color this page. So Steve will put a link to our coloring group that's over on Facebook and you can go join in over there and share with everyone and share a little sunshine with everybody. We'd love to see it. 
So Ashley has been coloring for the last hour over here using a set of Gel Rider gel pens and oh boy is she making progress. <laughs> I've only gotten a few little sections done. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not getting very far, but Ashley is really getting far. So let's show them how you're doing, Ashley. Okay, <laughs> uh -oh. here is her. Leaf. How are you feeling about it? Because look how pretty it's looking. I feel like my leaf blending is very not good, but. Oh, I think it's good. Especially the one like on the bottom, like not that one, over, over that one. I accidentally did it backwards. <laughs> oh, I see. You did I the dark like, out yeah. here. I was like, oh wait, the light color because like, the pen's like one of them. They kind of look different, and so I was like, oh, this one must be lighter, and then I was like, oh, I no. do that too. Let me show them. <laughs> do you see if you guys are the same way? Because it sounds like you did yeah. the same thing. I'll get coloring and think, okay, I'll remember that this is the dark, yeah. and this is the light, and then like halfway through, I'll be like, which one was the dark, and which <laughs> one was the light? Like, and then you mess up. <laughs> uh -huh. So, yeah, I do that too, but look how pretty, and the shine on it, oh. Yeah, I'm sparkly over here. So, <laughs> you totally covered in sparkle. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. So pretty. <clears throat> Thank you for sharing. Okay, so we're going to be doing the glycerin blending that I talked about at the end of the last hour, and we're going to do it now. Um, but, Steve, is there any comments you need to catch us up on? Yeah. <clears throat> a lot of people jumping over from Facebook. Thanks for on. following us over. I always worry we're going to lose you. <laughs> new people here on Facebook, too, so that's um, great. On YouTube. Yes. We're on YouTube now. <laughs> Beverly asked if you ever use colored pencils at all. I love colored pencils. I really, if I had to get rid of all of my coloring tools and only pick one, it would probably be color pencils. So if you watch my art studio tour, I go through and show like every set of color pencils that I own because I love them and I'm collecting them. In fact, I got a new set of color pencils today from Amazon. So yeah, my set, my collection continues to grow. <laughs> so love them. <laughs> <clears throat> Janelle says, glad we have Ashley as part of the family. Such a sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Carolyn says, great job, Ashley. <laughs> Thank you. She's awesome. Roberta wants you to get on camera. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're going to get her on camera. We even talked about maybe we need an Ashley cam. And we can put a camera over there on that second art studio um, place. And then instead of her having to hand me her art, she can show you guys. So we'll work on that and get her in front of the camera. She's gorgeous. Like you can see my face, but I don't look the best today. Yeah, she's had a really hard day. So she came over. Uh, can I share that you're here? Go ahead. She's in her pajamas. <gasps> what? Because <laughs> none of you are in your pajamas. Raise your hand. No, what do you say? <laughs> put, um, yeah. Let's have an honest conversation. I'm half in my pajamas right now. <laughs> the top is all business and the bottom is pajamas. So I'm half in my pajamas. Who else is in their pajamas? Raise your hand. <laughs> so yeah, Ashley's having a pajamas day. It's one of those days. And again, that's why we kind of thought everyone needed a little sunshine today. It's just one of those days. It's one of those weeks. My goodness. So... That's why I wanted to talk to you guys today also about um, how do you use coloring? I want you to share here, those of you who are just joining us we are with this YouTube part, um, over on Facebook we were all kind of sharing how we use coloring to help support ourselves in days that are hard or weeks that are hard or years that are hard. So share with us how do you use coloring to help you with hard days. So we'd love to hear that. Um, yep, you got lots of PJ people. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to color. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Maybe one day we should have a pajama party. And I wouldn't even have to get into any kind of business attire at all. Although, all my pajamas are looking kind of sad. I need new pajamas. Try it. Just your niece come over and I'll be here and we'll yeah. stay in pajamas. And we'll just have a color. big coloring pajama party. And Steve can be in his pajamas too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting better and better. I'll buy you a onesie for the occasion. <laughs> right. A bunny rabbit onesie. <gasps> yes. Oh, <boy. laughs> Help me, people. <laughs> oh, dear. Poor Steve. Okay, I just put a piece of tape down on a scratch piece of paper. Let's switch views and zoom on down so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> poor Steve. I hope there's some men here. Are there some other men here? Because poor Steve. <laughs> yeah, 
had, uh, I think, Jack with us last time, right? Yeah, did yeah. Jack follow us? Because, oh, we I need more men around may here. Have. I do think I saw at least one, <laughs> one man here with us today. Okay. Oh, yeah, Jack Brown. Oh, good. Oh, good. Thanks, Jack, for coming here and being with my husband. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> well, you love us and you know us. Yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I got a piece of tape here pulled off of my um, scotch tape. Um, this is some matte tape. You don't have to use scotch brand. You can go to Dollar Tree and buy a roll of matte tape. Matte tape has a bit of texture on it. And the texture is what's important because it will engage that ball that we spent, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes talking yeah. about <laughs> over on Facebook. There's a ball in the tip of that pen and you need um, something with a bit of texture to engage that ball. So that's why I pick um, the matte finish tape. It works best in my opinion. And then here I've got my glycerin and we need a little dish to put the glycerin in. Let's see, I'll reach up here. Okay, <clears throat> we got a little dish. This is the vegetable glycerin. I talked more about that at the end of Facebook. Um, basically, it is vegetable-based glycerin, and it's non-toxic, awesome stuff. You can buy it at the pharmacy. I bought mine at Hobby Lobby in the soap department is where I found my bottle. Used my coupon. It's awesome. So you don't need a lot of the glycerin. Uh, uh, wow, I got the lid on tight. I didn't want that to spill now, did I? Okay, so we'll put a little bit of the glycerin on here. Hopefully you can see that all I put was a small drop on there. If I need more, I can put more on there. Okay, so we're going to be coloring. We'll do this leaf right here. And everybody wanted to see how I use glycerin and gel pens and spread the ink out doing that. I'm going to zoom in even more. Yeah. Let's get in there. Ashley, if you want to try some glycerin too, let me know. I'm scared. <laughs> it's fun. Okay. I don't doubt that. <laughs> Grace's coloring corner says uh, glycerin makes her woozy. Really? Hmm. Um, let's see. We have uh, Marie says coloring is my therapy. And uh, Margot uses coloring to keep her brain active. Very good. Yeah, they were talking um, about how good coloring is for cognitive um, processes. Yeah, I don't know. Makes sense. Well, yeah. it's well, not just because of like dexterity and stuff, but like decision making. You have to make decisions, and like I'm going to use green here, and just those kinds of. It's like a puzzle, and it keeps your brain smart and working. Well, and I would imagine there's probably something to do with the colors too, and you're seeing these, you know, neat colors and yeah, something very it's, pleasing about that. It's actually really, really good for our brains. Julie says, coloring helps with my purpose each day. That's awesome. And you've had a couple people say that Rose needs PJs too. Oh, that would be so cute. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, we have to do that. Let's see, I need a paper towel too. Kira Lee says, I use my coloring for quiet time to get away from the world. Some soft natural sounds mix and the quiet of me and my pencils. That's awesome. Don't you love the sound of color pencils on paper? Am I the only one that just loves that sound or the sound of when you're sharpening your pencils? I love that sound. Maybe I just need to, oh, I could do a whole YouTube video of that sound of the pencil sharpening. Yes. And the pencils on the paper. <laughs> yes. That would cut, oh, and just, oh yeah, that would be really cool. And then I could just watch it because it might be just me that's interested in that video. <laughs> Instead of watching Bob Ross to fall asleep, I'll watch that and fall asleep to that sound. <laughs> Renee asked, do you remember which video, uh, the name of the video where you did a background with a dry blending stump? I can't remember what medium you were using to do that. I don't remember which video. I'm sorry. Okay, I've got, uh, this is just a cheap brush. Nothing special. Oh, it's got a number four on it. I don't even know what that means. It's a flat brush. I know these brushes have names. Maybe someone knows. I'm gonna, there's a little 
something on it. So sorry, I just wiped everything off that I did here, but I don't want that little edge, that little thing on it. Sorry. Actually, I think it needs a haircut. <laughs> I think that's what's wrong. Roberta's still working on her cat cave. Remember oh. how she's saying that's her version of a man cave, but it's for coloring. Oh. oh. Oh, you'll have to post pictures when you get it done. I need to give this brush a haircut. It's got little tiny stringy things coming off of it, and it's going to make a mess. Kathy asked, do you have to use vegetable glycerin? She bought regular glycerin at Walgreens. I think that is vegetable glycerin. Just the regular glycerin is vegetable. Yeah, I think so. I think you're good. Okay. And Beth asked, are you using jelly rolls? Oh, I am Adriana today. Answered for her. Yeah, today I'm playing with jelly rolls and Ashley is playing with gel writer pens. She's over there pondering her page right now. She's trying I'm to decide at my something. Smearing. Oh. I kind of smeared a little bit. That's all right. Embrace the smear. Embrace it. Right. <laughs> I was like, I need to get your pastels and just go over it. You oh, know, yeah. Hide it all. <laughs> That's no mistakes in coloring. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Teresa says, I'm relatively new to YouTube. I'm so glad I found Welcome. your channel so quickly. I'm so glad you're here too. Okay, <clears throat> let's play. I've Excuse got me. my, I'm kind of just sort of soaking my brush. And then I'm going to push off a lot of it. Now remember, anything liquid is sort of the enemy to paper, right? Paper is very dry. If we get it too wet, um, all the fibers are going to start coming up on the paper and make a big mess, right? So we want to use the glycerin to help make the, the green and of the ink go farther. Um, but we don't want to use so much of the glycerin that we soak the paper and ruin the texture of the paper. So that's kind of the thought. And the more you practice with it, the more you'll know. And I might go back and get more. We'll just see how thirsty the paper is and how far the ink wants to go. All that's what we're going to learn. So I'm going to go in for the darkest green first. And oh, we're going to have to reactivate the green here. It's, I waited too long and it's going dry on me. But that's the great thing about this is that the glycerin will reactivate that ink that's been sitting there on the tape for a long time. In fact, I experimented once. I put ink on um, a piece of tape and let it sit overnight and I was able to reactivate it the next day. How magical is that? Did you know that, Steve? No. Okay, I just reactivated that whole puddle of dark green. Um, this is going to go far. So we're going to come in over here, make sure I'm in screen for you guys. Now, you got to think of it like watercolors. When you add water to your color, it starts getting a lighter in tone. So it's not going to be as dark as if I colored straight down with the green. So be prepared for that. But you don't have the same... Um, Oh, what is it? It's like strokes that you get when you color with the tip of the pen. You get a different look. And it goes really fast. It goes down really smooth. I like that about this method. And like I said, a little bit of glycerin is going a long way. We might be able to color a lot of leaves with that puddle of green that I laid down how far we're going and uh, I always get asked does the glycerin leave the paper sticky or does it dry fast all that the amount of glycerin I'm using it's going to dry really fast so yes it's going to dry fast will it leave the paper a little sticky it might but it will dry and go away What's wrong over there? <laughs> Ashley's that making sounds of despair. Tap. Tap, tap. Tap it. Tap, tap it. it. Firmly tap. Firmly. Firmly, Firmly tap. tap and try your fingerprint. I tried that. It doesn't want to work. It worked for like two seconds and then uh, it's like, no. <laughs> Marie asked, the gel pen is over tape, right? Yes. That's why I put a square around it that says tape. <laughs> okay. So I think that looks good for now. We're going to wipe off that dark green and pick up some more glycerin and move to reactivating the light green. 
as we learned, if you let it dry as long as I did, you're going to need to get it going here. Um, Rossifer64 asked, how do you prevent hand pain? Lately I'm experiencing hand pain after coloring. Uh, it could be the tool you're using. Um, I Color pencil is a big... Um, it's, what's the word I'm trying to th say? It's a big, I can't talk. <laughs> it causes a lot of hand pain because you're doing a lot of back and forth, back and forth. Sometimes you're pushing hard. A culprit, that's the word. It's a culprit for hand pain, right? So if I'll have times of the week, like if a storm is coming in, my hands will be achy more than other times. So during those times, I'll switch over to say markers. And those will um, be easier for me to color with because you don't have to do quite so much back and forth or pushing with a marker. Another thing you need to practice with is to be um, not so heavy handed with your coloring. Don't grip your tools too tightly. Um, that just takes practice. So I don't know if you're very heavy handed with your coloring, but you might want to sort of um, watch how you color. Are you gripping your pencil so hard that you look at your hand and you can see like um, your hands are going red or white or whatever because you're squeezing so hard? If you're doing that, then you know you're being too heavy handed and you need to back off and, and practice a lighter hand. Try moving your hand back on your pencil. That helps you be lighter handed with um, color pencils. You can also try a different brand of color pencils if color pencils are your, your jam and you gotta stick with them. Um, I went from using um, less expensive color pencils to Prismacolor pencils and they go onto the paper so much easier so I didn't have to work as hard and so I could color longer. So that's a really good trick to solve hand pain. Another thing to do is stop and take breaks. Um, I'll often stop and do those stretches. Uh, I think it's the arthritis foundation the government website for arthritis I can't remember what the name of the website is uh, but th there's a, like a, an official arthritis government website and they have actual um, hand stretches that they recommend that you do to help keep your hands limber if you have like arthritis pain and they're just good basic hand stretches so you can stop and do the hand stretches and exercises that they recommend and it's good to do anyway to take breaks from any kind of hand work like if you're crocheting or typing a lot or um, drawing a lot or coloring a lot just to take breaks and to look up and focus your eyes on something else for a little while because it gives your eyes a break and it gives your hands a break while you're stretching that way you won't get headaches as much and it rests your hands as well. So that's just good common practice no matter what you're doing for long periods of time is to take breaks like that. So I think it's the arthritis um, website that has those really good hand exercises. And I think I even on my pinned board, maybe I'll have to go find those one of these days and we can do a session of hand exercises together um, during one of these live events. That would be really fun. To practice that so anyway that's what I would say for hand pain <laughs> so let me get back here to coloring I'm really liking how this green looks Jill asked if the glycerin was diluted it's just straight glycerin <clears throat> from the bottle that I bought in fact Steve maybe you should grab that bottle um, it's mm -hmm. in the cupboard behind the wall of paint It's like a plastic bottle. How do you get to that? <laughs> you, you open the curtain of paint <clears throat> and reach back. Let's see. Where are you? I'm almost out of this light green ink. And I'm trying to make it stretch all the way to this last leaf here. And I've kind of pushed the light green over a little bit on top of this other green to help the two colors come together nicely. 
rather than just stopping the light green right here. And I think it looks really pretty, really soft. Look how soft and pretty that turned out. <clears throat> Adriana says for a darker look, you can color a bit of the pen directly on the paper and then spread it on the leaf. Oh, good idea. Mm. Okay, here's the glycerin that I bought so you can see what the bottle looked like. All natural glycerin, 100% vegetable based. This is the one I got. Like I said, it was in the soap aisle at Hobby Lobby. This one was $3.99 and I used my coupon. And it's got eight ounces and I think I've used just that much out of this bottle. And most of it went into this bottle, which has only that much been used out of it. So it's going to last me a long time. Thanks for getting that bottle, Steve. You're welcome. Oh, look how pretty that's looking. So soft and pretty. Okay, let's finish up these leaves over here. Come back to our tape palette. So fancy and expensive. But the other thing I love about these tape palettes is you can set them up anywhere. So you can use, if you carry your glycerin like I do on vacation or in the car, if you're on a long road trip or whatever, you got your glycerin like this, you can put a piece of tape like on the back cover of your coloring book or whatever you've got handy, like I'm using a scratch piece of paper and you're good to go for coloring. You don't have to have too many extra supplies. So the tape is really handy don't need a special palette of any sort. <clears throat> Roberta likes, uh, she says, Steve, I think you say my name with such a different pronunciation. I get a kick out of it. Roberta? <laughs> well, I keep trying to, it's like I want to do it like Spanish, you know, Roberta. Oh. You know, and uh, son. <laughs> so now you're all, Roberta. how? Is that how? <laughs> is that how you can't Roberta. say it without. Oh, them. that's why. Yeah, because I've probably been saying Roberta, like Roberta. Oh, um, you've been adding the more of Roberta. a. <laughs> now you're all. How do I say it without the Spanish? <laughs> Roberta. <laughs> Susan missed the end of your Facebook stream. I like how the red and purple on the petals turned out. Thank you. I do too. I was a little scared when I went into the purple and the red there, but I really like it. <laughs> Grace asked, did you get a set of Pelican pencils? Uh, is that the ones we got to review? Yeah, tomorrow I think we're going to be doing that. Yeah, tomorrow. tomorrow I will probably be doing a live coloring um, unboxing review, like a first impressions review of that. I have, I got them, I looked at the packages, but I haven't swatched them or opened them or anything. I wanted to have it be a first impressions review. So I'll be doing that here on the YouTube channel. And I'll probably, if I remember, if I'm not flying solo, sometimes I do those um, reviews flying solo without Steve's help. But I think Steve will be there tomorrow. So he can help me remember to, um, send out a shout out to everybody on um, Facebook and let them know that I'll be there live so you guys can join me too if you're one of my Facebook followers. But otherwise, a great idea, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed here and you click on that little notification bell because when I come on live, it will notify you, at least it's supposed to, I've heard YouTube's having troubles with that. It's supposed to notify you and tell you that I'm live. So if YouTube is doing what it's supposed to, it'll send up a little thing to you and say, Jennifer's live, get over here and watch her do amazing things. <laughs> so, and if you guys wouldn't mind hitting like, that helps me as well. And you could, if you know anyone or any groups that you think would enjoy watching me color this evening, you could shared out. That helps me too. I'm going to quickly finish this, these um, little leaves here and then if there's anything else, any other techniques or questions you have about gel pens, I would love to show that to you. Colorful Monkey says, thanks to you, I have a to-go bag. I watched your video. <gasps> awesome! <laughs> My to-go bag is getting bigger and bigger as Steve can... <laughs> The other day we went to the mall 
um, my iPad's been a little sick and so we've been going to the Apple store to get it diagnosed and they have things you want they want you to do before they replace it so you have to go back home and try their things for a few days and then you go back and say nope and then you have to go so we'll, anyway the first time we went I brought my full bag and and this, my poor Steve I made him haul it around so yeah, my to-go bag has all these things in it. Because I even take art supplies to the mall. You have to have art supplies so even at the mall. <laughs> my poor husband. Anyway, so the second time we went to the Apple store, I took pity on him and I didn't make him all that all through the mall. But yeah, I even take art supplies to the mall. <laughs> Come on, I can't be the only one that takes art supplies everywhere they go. Maybe I am. <laughs> yeah. They go with me everywhere I go. I like, I don't know, it's starting to become a little obsessive compulsive, I think. I almost get panicky if I leave the house without some sort of art supply. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, okay, at least I've got my color pencils. Oh no, Curly says that it sometimes does notify her, but after we finished. Oh, <clears throat> so yeah. Maybe those notifications are just. I've heard that they're having issues with the net notifications, so I apologize. AJ says I usually give away my fluorescent and neon pens, but with this technique, I just may keep a few. Yeah, you should practice with them a little bit. I'm, I'm proud of you for giving some away. Sometimes I have a hard time giving some away because I'm like, I must keep them all. They're all mine. But <laughs> I'm trying to get better at that. <clears throat> Adriana says on this page there are shadows like on the edges of the leaves. How would you color those? Um, way out here, I think we're talking about the these shadows out here. Is that the yeah. shading I add? Yeah. Um, when I'm drawing coloring pages, I always add um, shading to my coloring, to the drawing, the line art. Uh, I do that. It's kind of like, um, it's helpful to you because as you're coloring um, and you come up and color on top of that shading, it helps give depth to the um, coloring that you're doing. And it's also just sort of my style. I like to add the shading because it gives the line art itself, when you look at the coloring page, I think it looks prettier. It gives more depth and makes it look more like a finished work of art just as the line art doesn't look so flat. So that's why I add it sort of my style. I know it's not for everyone. Some people don't like it. Um, the line art I've been doing recently, the coloring pages that I've been drawing on the iPad, I, we've toned back the heaviness of the shading. Um, when I was doing everything by hand in sketchbooks with pencil and graphite and erasers and um, blending stubs and everything, the, the shading was a lot heavier. So some of that art I'm starting to go back and digitally remaster now and take off uh, like some of that shading and make it a little bit lighter so it's not so prominent. So you can look forward to some digitally remastered art in the near future. I think I have about a dozen of my pages now remastered. So you'll be um, seeing that soon. Start coming up into the... <clears throat> so only 300 to go. Only through, no, 400 and... Well, some of that, those are new stuff. Oh, true. So <laughs> maybe only 380 to go. <laughs> so I don't know if I'll remaster all of them. We'll probably go through and look at the most popular pages, the ones that are downloaded the most, the ones that are ordered up in the print shop the most, and remaster those first and then go from there. So that's probably my plan because I want to spend the majority of my time creating new art for all of you guys. And then I'll move and, and on my bad days where I don't feel up to drawing new stuff, I will work on digitally remastering stuff. That's most likely will be my plan. So, so on the outside of the coloring page, you can either just leave the shading to give the entire coloring page depth. Or if you decide to add a background, like Ashley was just mentioning, she might want to try using some of my pastels, the new pastels that I got that I um, painted that box for a, a week or two or a week ago here on my YouTube channel. She could get into my pastels and do a background. And um, if the shading shows through those pastels, it will just give that pastel a little bit more depth and help the pastels look even better. 
<laughs> I wish you asked what uh, animal that is next to you in the bed. That <laughs> is my little dog, Rose. She's a Maltese. It is hard to tell what she is like. Look she at looks her. like She's a all... little ball of white fur right now. Hey, Rosie. Rosie, look up. Hey, come here. Oh, wake up. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> Say hi. Oh, don't wake oh, her up. <laughs> we can wake her up. Yeah. She's like our little coloring mascot. <laughs> Oh, she's so tired. Look at her. <laughs> Why did you wake me up? She loves sleeping right here in this bed. I think she likes just laying here and listening to me talk and talk and talk. <laughs> so, so Adriana was wondering just uh, <laughs> with gel pen specifically, yeah. um, how you would address those. On the on the parts. outside edge. Yeah. One of my favorite ways to do um, a background edge with shading like, well, on anything, whether it's shaded or not, whether it's my art you're coloring or a different coloring page. Shame on you if you're coloring someone else's art. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. You can color anything you want. Um, but one really great way to color the edges, let me find a gold here. La, 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 la. Let's say, oh, that one's almost empty. Okay, here is a Jelly Roll Metallic Gold. I don't know if this is going to be, well, we'll try it. Okay, uh, one of my favorite ways to do sort of a background on coloring pages like this is to um, color the edge like this and then pull it out like this. And what you end up with is, oh, I'm not even in screen. Sorry, everybody. There we go. Now we're in screen, you can see. What you end up with is sort of this halo. Halo, is that a good word? A glow, is that a better word? You end up with this glowing effect around your entire image. And that little shading that I added is like I was just describing, will give you that little bit of depth underneath that um, glow that I'm adding. So you lay down a little puddle of wet ink and then you have to embrace the fact that you're about to get very glittery. <laughs> <laughs> you can use a spatula like I've taught you in my other YouTube videos. A silicone spatula works great for this. But this is easier and faster to just get your finger in there and just get messy. Just get messy, everyone. It'll make you smile when you look down and see your golden finger. Makes me smile. I'm green. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Ashley said her finger is green. So, yeah, I mean, I could have picked a, a different... I didn't need to do green. I could have... I mean, gold. I could have picked a green... I've got a metallic green that would have been really pretty around the edge. This one would have been a really pretty. In fact, I could go back now and go green too. So we'd get both. Now I'm going to have a green and a gold finger. I am using a separate finger here. I don't know why. Because I wanted two glowing fingers. So I love this effect. This is one of my favorite things to do. Embrace the smear, people. Okay, so that's one way to do it without having to go in and add a different kind of art medium like a pastel. This is one of my favorite ways to do a background with your gel pen. It's really soft. You could do the same kind of thing with like we were doing over here with the glycerin. We could scribble down some gold and grab our brush and pick it up. Well, that was way too much glycerin. Here we go, that's better. And we could paint down in here as well and paint large areas. Some of that green got mixed into the gold. It's looking pretty. And paint down in here. Ooh, I wonder what it would look like painted over these areas. Oh, that softens it out and makes it look really pretty. Oh, I'm off the camera again. You guys need to shout at me when I do that. Oh, I like painting right over what I did. That looks soft and pretty. 
I'm having fun over here. Let's get some more gold on my tape here. Ink down. Not too much glycerin. Pick it up with your brush. And paint. We need to check in with Ashley and see how her page is going. Uh, colorful. <laughs> is it colorful? Is it happy? Yeah, yes. <laughs> I've lost track of uh, the colors I'm using. <laughs> Very so you're, bright. You're just embracing the whole set now. I am. <laughs> yeah, I have to test at least every color once. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like fun. I mean, it's pretty. <laughs> oh, look how shiny that's looking. Ooh, especially in the camera. So pretty. I love gold. Oh, I need more ink. It's getting too diluted. More ink. Steve went very quiet. Are you reading lots? Yeah. Uh, Lily K says, sorry, I just tuned in. Is glycerin the same as Gamzol? I've seen others use Gamzol. I'm not sure what it is. Gamzol is odorless mineral spirits, which is... Uh, Highly toxic, very flammable, smelly, almost like a paint thinner. So it's a very different chemical type um, product. Um, vegetable glycerin, this is what vegetable glycerin is right here. It is, it's, a, it's used in a lot of products that we use in our soaps, in toothpaste, even in foods, in our makeup. Glycerin is in a ton of stuff. If I got some on my fingers and tasted it, it would taste a little sweet. Like it says here, add this to your favorite body lotion, bar soap, shower gel. It's used in a lot of things. It's used in diet food. Technically, scientifically, it's called a humectant. So it absorbs and attracts moisture. That's why it's used in lotions and things. You shouldn't put it straight into your mouth. That would not be smart because it would suck all the moisture off your tongue and not be good for you. But when they mix it into things like lotions and toothpaste, it um, works okay. That camera there is frozen, Steve. I don't know if I can go up to the other view. I want to hmm. check out what's going on. Anyway, so they are two extremely different things. Um, they act totally different and used in different ways. I love using the, um, the vegetable glycerin for... Um, gel pens because gel pens are water-based and so they play really well together. Um, they help that gel pen smear. Another great way that I use um, the humectant, the glycerin, is you can actually prep an area. Let me show you how I do that. What time is it? Are we out of time? Oh, we still have 15 minutes. Sweet. In fact, I'm getting glycerin everywhere now. I can feel it. I'm starting to get messy. Okay, let me show you on one of the back pedals here. Steve's trying to get the other camera going, so if something gets bumped, you'll know what's why. I don't think it should bump. Okay, let's color this back pedal right here doing the other method. Well, I'm going to grab pink. We haven't done pink yet. So I'm going to grab just some clean glycerin on my brush. So this is no color, at least there shouldn't be any color left on my brush. And I'm going to color, paint this whole area here with the glycerin. Not too big of an area because it will dry. And I don't want to have to repaint it. And then if I come in with my pink and start coloring, what happens is the gel sort of mixes with that glycerin and your strokes disappear and you'll find the gel lays down really fast and smooth and easy. Um, so it goes really quick and easy with your coloring. Smooths out all those strokes. It's a really great way to color a solid area. So it's another way to use your glycerin with gel pens. If you want a really bold, solid 
coloring area like that. Sometimes when I color solid bold areas like that with my gel pens I find it gets really streaky. I don't know if you guys have had that experience. Some pens are worse than others. So if I lay down a little bit of glycerin to begin with, gets rid of all those streaks and that gel just glides on, makes extra jelly. In fact, I've often wondered, and I'd love to talk to somebody someday, because I will bet you glycerin is one of the ingredients inside the gel. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, and we color that whole area like that. So if you watch my um, gel pen coloring series, I can't remember how many different ways I came up with that you can use um, glycerin and gel pens together, but there are a lot on there. I'm gonna go back to my dark purple that I used down here and fill in those little polka dots. Mine's getting more colorful too, Ashley. I'm pretty sure, like I said, I've used every single color in this set, at least one. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's supposed to be a bright, happy page. It's okay. Yeah, <laughs> we're supposed to be adding sunshine to our lives, and that's what's happening over here. <laughs> we're getting I'm even, brighter. I'm in the, towards the middle now, and I don't know what to do. Oh, <laughs> should we ask for advice? <laughs> Hand it over. Let's see what they suggest. I need like the middle part. I don't know what to do. Okay, here is Ashley's masterpiece. <laughs> Very colorful. <laughs> I'm loving it. Whoa, it's so pretty. Look at how oh, good really it looks. Pretty. So pretty. Okay, she needs your advice, everyone. What would you suggest for the center? I'll bring it up just a bit. Oh, see that camera froze again. Okay, let's put it here. Okay, bring it down here. And there's her flower. What would you suggest for the center of her sunshine slash sunflower slash unicorn uh, horn? Rainbow <laughs> flower thing. Rainbow <laughs> flower gel pen creation. Okay. Shout it out. What colors? Are they shouting it out? It's beautiful, oh, Ashley. <laughs> They're saying. <laughs> I wonder why that other camera is having such a hard time. I noticed this camera is also blue jumping a little bit. Deep blue and silver. Oh. Adriana says use the yellow that was on the outside petals. Oh, out here? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll pass it over while you start hearing all your advice. AJ asked, um, does it muck up your pens? The glycerin. Nope. Not at all. You've also got a yellow or blue, pink. Deep blue, orange and black, blues, yellow with black. So you got lots of ideas there. She's oh, going for the blue. Right. Who shouted that one out? Someone knows lots of blues. Ashley. Mm -hmm. Oh, lots of people are saying blue. Yep. <laughs> awesome. I want to work on the words. Lots of up yellow here. and orange and blues. Blue and orange are compliments. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I don't it's know like what I, I want to work on. Interior design or something. Yeah, Ashley's going for interior design as her major. She's already survived one full year. I can't believe I've survived. Yeah, she's a survivor. That's a good I word survived. for it. <laughs> I need a t-shirt that says that. I survived my first year of college. No one knows how. Don't talk to me. I'm, I'm recovering. Yeah. Don't talk to me until fall. <laughs> oh, I'm going in over here. Do we have any other um, gel pen questions I can answer, Steve? We're starting to wind down here. We've got about nine minutes left on this um, live event. Like I said, I'll probably be, most likely, be live tomorrow um, reviewing the a new set of oh i ended up prepping that whole area hopefully i can color fast enough to get this whole area uh, adriana likes um the or is asking on the words show how you would add color shadow okay we'll abandon this petal and go up to the words sorry petal abandoned you're shape. being abandoned yes <laughs> Okay, we'll work on the sunshine word, maybe. And 
I would think maybe we'll do pink since I've got it in my hand. And let's see. What would I do? I don't know what I would do. Beverly says that was such a lovely evening and it went so fast. Thank you. Thank you for coming and joining us, Beverly. I really like Wednesdays. When we first started out doing live events, I was a little apprehensive and worried that um, like maybe my illness would make it so I would I would have to say, sorry, I can't do it this week a lot, you know. But I think the opposite has happened. Like I look forward to it and even though it's sometimes a lot of work for me physically, I find it like gives back more than it takes from me. So I really look forward to it. Okay, uh, what I'm doing, actually, maybe you could zoom in a little bit, Steve. Okay. I'm kind of applying the rules that you learn when you start learning lettering, that you thicken up the downstrokes of your letters. So if I was doing the lettering with these, anytime you do a downstroke, you make those downstrokes really nice and thick. So I'm going to keep thickening up them with an extra stroke of pink. So in the S, this part is this downstroke. In the U, this is a downstroke. This is an upstroke, so we'll leave it alone. But this part of the U is a downstroke. So I'm going to add a extra bit of pink here. Okay, and then come over to the N. This is a downstroke. Thicken that up. I'm trying to keep the downstrokes on the left side also. That keeps a consistent shadow as well. This is a downstroke, so we'll add thickening here. I hope this is answering the question that was asked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're liking <clears throat> seeing that. Okay. Um, Birdie's Mixed Media says, You give so much of yourself and your family, Jen. Thank you. You Aww. truly are a blessing to all. Oh, that's so sweet. And Susan says, Thank you for hanging with me and taking my mind off my gloom. Oh, I hope we brought you some sunshine. <laughs> I know you guys brought me some. Yeah, you're the reason I'm in a really good mood this afternoon, so. <laughs> oh, well, we sure love you, Ashley. And... I'm going to cry. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. I can't cry right now. I've got my makeup glam on. After I wash my face, I can cry. <laughs> Jane says, <clears throat> love the live events. I do learn new ways to use different mediums. Oh, good. I'm glad you're finding it um, not just as a fun way to hang out, but also educational. I know the live events are very different than like a structured tutorial where it's edited and planned, where I have like a schedule of how, what I'm going to say and how I'll do it and how I'll present things. The live events are much more informal and more um, silly and um, we chat about random things and, and so it, it's not exactly what some people are after when they come to the channel but I also know that a lot of people just like having it on while they do their own art and can listen and let it keep them company and they get to learn a few things here and there so I'm glad it's doing that that's kind of the point so you guys get to know me better and just get to hang out I like watching live events like this from people I enjoy as well it's fun okay E's are always tricky. I don't know. I have a t trouble drawing E's. I don't know why. I need to practice my E's, I guess. Maybe it's because it's such a curve like an O. Or a circle, you know. Circles are hard. I'm getting better at circles, but... I have to practice circles a lot. Okay, I got that. Look like how fancy and happy that looks be fun to add some yellow to that sunshine word now to make it feel more sunshiny. <laughs> so 
So we're going to go in and add some dots. And I need to be careful now <laughs> not to rest my hand in the wet ink, right? <laughs> so I'm going to add little dots. And I find adding dots in odd numbers are usually the best. So either three or five at a time. So I'll do three right there. Well, five. We'll do five on the big one because it's so big. So we'll add maybe a couple that are even bigger. There. I hope these are showing up. Are they showing up, the yellow dots, Steve? <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, yeah, they are. Oh, good. Um, I'm trying to add them in random spots. Because if you do random spots, then, then you don't have to do them perfect, see? There's an artist trick for you. <laughs> <laughs> Fran says green to tie in leaves. Oh, yeah. Shelly was asking what kind of copy paper works well for gel pens. Okay, Steve, that's the one you can answer. Well, copy paper, I'm not sure. Well, tell her, tell her, tell, educate her on paper. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you want me to say on this one. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Um, so you mean for gel uh -oh, pens? You're on camera. Oh, hi. <laughs> you're on camera. Except it's not it. Educate us with paper. The copy paper is great for gel pens. Um, gel pens don't soak through paper, so you don't thickness isn't necessarily important for paper. Mm. Texture can be important for paper. Um, like we've been talking about, one of the most important parts of a gel pen, the anatomy of a gel pen, is um, the little tiny ball there in the end of that gel pen. If the paper is too slick, it won't engage that ball and you're going to be frustrated. That's why like you can't draw very well with a gel pen on like a ceramic plate or a really slick piece of plastic. It just doesn't work right because that little ball won't be engaged correctly. That's why when we were using the glycerin, we were using um, um, matte tape instead of a high gloss tape for our little palette over there on that scratch piece of paper. Now our favorite paper in the Bliss print shop for gel pens, it's <gasps> the mixed it media paper. Yeah. And I did mention it's kind of like the Goldilocks paper. Yeah. It's not too smooth, not too rough. <laughs> <laughs> it's just right. Oh, I like that. <laughs> it's just right. But, but uh, I think she was just wondering specifically, is was there a copy paper? I don't think we have any specific copy paper. No. no. Um, but I think most copy paper has a little yeah. tooth to it, so probably would work well. Yep. But I still recommend the mixed media type paper because it is a little thicker. I usually end up um, doing a mixed media type project when I'm using gel pens. I almost always add a marker or I end up adding pastels or color pencils or something so I like this paper I had Steve print this for me on the mixed media paper because I thought well what if I want to add marker or something I want to have um, that option so probably some uncoated cardstock yeah any kind of uncoated as long as it's not glossy or coated yeah because so. glossy won't engage that tiny little ball I wonder if there's a technical term for the ball the roller ball is that what it is <clears throat> i don't know just saying that's what you call it you'd call it the roller ball i think so it's probably because some pens are called that or something yeah well stay tuned for steve's <clears throat> anatomy of a gel pen class <laughs> <laughs> birdie's mixed media says my voice changed i'm like I it's think after talking, I'm all, yeah, it's like it's all two dry. hours of, and we've got the ceiling fan going, and that will dry us out too. Yeah. My voice is going too now. I think this two-hour thing is really great because we can talk more and get more in depth, and we get to do both platforms, Facebook and YouTube. But I think it's hard on our voices. By the end of the two hours, <laughs> we're like, oh. 
but I really like it. I like being able to be here with both of my audiences and and um, hang out with both of you. I, I love it. So I'm really grateful that we had Ashley here. I want to show you guys how the blue turned out. Uh -oh. So let me switch over to the other camera and I'll show you how pathetically I didn't get much done on mine. Yeah, that camera's having a hard time too. Um, why don't you stream, zoom so out just a little, little bit? All of my smearing. <laughs> Okay, so here is what happens when you try to talk and color at the same time. You only get part of a project done. And here's Ashley's. It's so pretty. I love the blue. Ignore all the smearing. I oh, smeared a lot. Over here? Is that what you mean? Oh, yeah. It's all over. <laughs> yeah. It's gel pens. Yeah. And I bet your character. hands are beautiful. Oh, yeah. They're sparkly. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty. And, like, she's got gel pen smears, like, right here. <laughs> <laughs> but look how pretty the blue turned out. Oh, I like how you added blue in the flowers, too. Mm -hmm. Really pretty. Very colorful. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's very happy. You'll have to hang it up to help cheer you up as yes. you're dealing with your fun trials. And yeah, we all are just, I think it's just kind of life right now as everybody's dealing with their trials. And so download the page, color it. Um, fill yourself with some creative sunshine. Come over to our Facebook group and share it over there so you can share your sunshine with everybody else and we can all lift each other and support each other as we're all dealing with um, things, whether it's with our families or personally. We all need a little extra lift and we can do that for each other. And thank you for doing that for me and Steve and Ashley tonight. Thank you for being with us, Ashley, especially. Yes. And thank you for being with us. And we will see you probably tomorrow. I'll be here live. So like I said, make sure you hit that bell. So hopefully um, YouTube will notify you that I'll be on tomorrow to do that. Um, live um, review of those new color pencils that were sent to me. They're brand new and I'm excited to try them out. I don't know much about them. We're going to learn together. And also, um, 